Hey guys, Carlsview here and welcome back to another, uh, another video. Now today we are reviewing the Viewzine Racer number 39. Um, he is just not a gesture or anything, he's just a die cast reveal I've chosen to do. Um, um, I also have four more uh, cars free die cast left, which is Cruiser Mirrors, uh, Combustor number 11, Spider Stop number 92 and Tiny Lugsworth. But yeah, um, uh, View Z number 39 says Buck Baronly, <laughs> sort of forgot there, but it came back to me. And he um, is obviously a stock car in Cars 3. Um, now, we'll probably see him towards the beginning of the movie. Um, that he'll probably, most likely, will get either replaced. I, I don't, this is thing, I don't know if all the stock car racers are being replaced yet. Because we, obviously we haven't got a View Z race, we can't see from all the clips. We don't know if the companies will just take their stock cars off because they won't be able to compete. Or the stock cars will just keep going, that like keep racing certain like certain ones. So we're not, I'm not, I'm not really too sure yet. But we'll have to see. Obviously, the movie comes out tomorrow in the US, but sadly, here in the UK, we've got to wait till July 14th. So you guys out in the US are very lucky. But make sure to not do any spoilers on the comments section. <laughs> so I really don't want that. Uh, I know you guys probably won't anyway. Uh, but yeah, as we. Um, Go on to his uh, like releases. He's only obviously been released as a single so far. That's it. He's uh, I don't think he's been in the Desert Eleven race uh, race pack or anything like that. It's just by himself, um, just in a single so far. But I'm sure he'll get many more releases um, in the future. But I guess for that we'll just have to um, have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, he is obviously number thirty nine for Viewzine. Uh, he the uh, uh, what's it? The Cars One Viewzine. Obviously, he, I don't can't remember who did him, uh, who who he was, because the names they were sort of just called by their sponsors in the first film, but now they're we're sort of calling them by their names rather than their sponsors. So it's weird. It's a different way, a uh, different way round. Um, but yeah, I can't remember who he was. Um, but yeah, he was a cool racer. He, I think he was only really released in the motor speedway itself, and. Or maybe in a single by himself. Oh, and maybe certain five packs and that race five packs, but not much. He was one of the more rarer racers. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's not enough about him. If I review him, I'll obviously talk about him. But yeah, we go into the actual review of Buck Burnley. He is the same shape as Brick Yardley, um, Dud Throttleman, uh, all them. So which that shape is the, is the we've got most of this shape at the moment out of all the stock cars. Uh, but yeah, he's got a grill. I think that is pretty different from the other ones. I'm pretty sure I think they're quite different. Uh, cool looking lights with the number 39 at the bottom there. Nice smile because his teeth. Um, if we go to uh, here, we've got views in it. The logo is actually different slightly to the other car. And we have corrective windshields. We also have his hood pins there as well. Got brown eyes. We're pretty chilled. A like, happy expression, obviously. Here we have sort of like a bluey swoosh thing it keeps going along with the um, light year sign there and then we have a light year tires which are cool as well now as for his secondary sponsors we have piston cup vital lid revolting rpm nitro again clutch aid all the normal ones we have these bolts here not too sure what they are and the red arrow which is obviously not in the center because there's exhaust on the other side is there Oh, so corrective windshields there with number 39, this sort of white lines going through. Uh, on here, we have sort of this wavy sort of design with a 39. You can just barely see his roof flaps, but that's a really cool uh, feature. I do like these, this pattern a lot. There's two windows, uh, views in with the gas cap, you can actually see it. Now, as we go on to the back, We've got views in, two lights, the camera, 39 corrective windshields. Now you guys probably know by now that I like the back of the cars, especially this model. This one is no exception in how well they actually did manage to do the stickers on this. Well, not stickers, but the decals on this is really good. We've got views in across here with this again and the window, black window slats, that's really cool. And the spoiler pins. This one doesn't actually have any on this side, but I, actually I don't think any of them do. Uh, same on this side, views in, corrective windshields, all the normal stuff. See, this is where we have his exhaust here. I think there's actually a bit of decal covering it, maybe. I don't know. Uh, obviously, because they need to have the arrow there. As we go on to the base, we have the exhaust there. Differential, everything you would need there. So that is pretty cool. Now, if I just go get the Cars 1 version for you. A 
Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, well, here we have the Cars 1 version. Like I said, I can't remember his name. Uh, I I never used to like the Cars 1 version, but it's kind of grown on me now. But if we compare the two, see we have the view zine is a lot more yellowy there and white. This is a lot bluer. Uh, corrected windshields is actually better on the older car, uh, which is pretty cool. Obviously, they've got different exhausts. I personally do like this shape a lot because it's, you know, it, it reminds me of when I used to play with them and everything. Um, 39. Same sort of style, this one's just more 3D, you can see the shadow sort of stands out, but I do like the old classic as well. As I said in, I think, about Red Meek, about having less sponsors, obviously it has loads of sponsors compared to the new one. Do love the blue wheels, wish, I really wish they kept them on Buck Baron Lee, but sadly they did not. We actually have the corrective windshield on the same place again. Roof flaps, and uh, well then the roof in general. The views in here is, that I actually do prefer it on the Cars 1 version. Uh, it is a lot bigger on the back, so I guess that's cool. And, but I wish once again they had these, um, they had these blue roof slats rather than the black uh, back. Um, here we have corrective windshields using. Don't know which one I like better, but they're, they're both cool in their own aspect. And we get the same here. Obviously, this is when the codes were a lot simpler. We, we literally have one there and one there. Rather than them, now we have all these codes. Um, but yeah. There is Buck Bear only guys. Um, I do like him. Maybe tell me in the comments what your favourite stock car is so far. He's definitely not my favourite, but he is a cool one anyway. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this review. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a review. And I'll see you in the next review, guys.